The city of Washington, Pennsylvania was established in 1768. It was the site of the Whiskey Rebellion and also housed the first crematory in America. In the 1930s, Washington was classified as a city of the third class. Like the rest of the country, Washington was hit hard by the Great Depression, and many people working in the manufacturing plants in the area struggled. Musical artists and families became popular in Washington during the 1930s with acts like the Pennsylvanians and continued to be popular through the 40s and 50s with acts like the Blue Jays, later known as the Serenaders, gaining national popularity. Robert Forrest, who had used his home to help the poor, left his house and three acres of land to the African-American community. This property later became the Lemoyne Center, which in the 1950s would go on to be visited by baseball legend Jackie Robinson, along with Branch Rickey. Washington was also affected by the onset of the Second World War. Some men from the city went to fight, and the factories in the city were part of what was known as the Arsenal of Democracy that was centered in Pittsburgh. The 1950s saw prosperity, but social turmoil was right under the surface. Washington was not exempt from segregation and the racial tension that was building in the 1950s. In other parts of the country, the Montgomery bus boycott was taking place, and Supreme Court ruled against school segregation in Brown v. Board of Education of Topeka. Washington High School was built in 1932. Washington sports teams and academics were excellent in the 30s, with successful football and basketball teams, as well as above-average scores on achievement tests. The high school band was producing all district and all state members. Despite the country going to war, clubs began to form at the school in the 1940s, like Yearbook and Student Council. The 1950s epitomized the athletic achievement of Wash High, with alumni Babe Gazzoni becoming a national wrestling champion in undefeated football and basketball seasons in 1952. By 1957, the school had a total enrollment of over 3,500. Programs like the Go to College Club had started to increase enrollment in post-secondary education. The decade then turned over to the 1960s. A fight for full integration was taking place. Freedom swimmers Myra Campbell, Deborah Thomas, and Linda Wade were the first African Americans to swim at the Washington Park Pool in 1961 in an act of defiance. Before that, all local pools were segregated. Local businesses were pressured to hire blacks as part of an NAACP program. A civil rights march took place on Main Street in 1964 in solidarity with the rest of the movement throughout the country. In 1962, John F. Kennedy visited Washington, and the local Catholic school was named after him. In the 60s, the businesses in town were hurt by the construction of shopping malls, and the use of metals and plastics hurt the glass factories. This was also the point when the steel mills began to struggle. The once-growing economy of Washington was beginning to stagnate. This followed the trend in the nation where suburbs continued to grow and small businesses and manufacturing began to compete with larger corporations and international rivals. In the 1970s, Washington and Jefferson College began to buy up homes in the city to expand its campus. In the 1980s, the Karate Chop Killer made national news killing three elderly women. Washington epitomized the 1980s Rust Belt City, with Duncan Miller and Brockway Glass closing down and cutbacks or closings at steel mills, with Allegheny Ludlam being one of the few to survive. Over this period of time, Washington High School underwent major changes. In the first years of the 1960s, it was decided that there would be additions to the school. The grading system was also changed to the A to F scale in those years. In 1963, the school was the place of a presentation by NASA about the expanding space program. That same year, the football team went undefeated for the first time in 11 years, and girls tennis was added to the sports offered at Wash High. In 
In 1972, the Wash High Band got their iconic Revolutionary War uniforms, and in 1976, the Wash High Wrestling Team went undefeated in Whippeal and State. In response to the city's economic struggles in the 80s, Wash High's athletic program served as a source of pride for the community, with the boys' 84 and 86 basketball teams becoming state champions, and in 1988, the soccer team was started. As the 1990s began, Washington was a smaller city in part due to the decline of job availability. Washington Steel had closed and the Observer Publishing Company had to lay off workers. The Hospital Workers Union even held a strike when their contract was up. In 1993 and 94, the city experienced record snowfalls. As the millennium turned into the 21st century, the economic situation in Washington remained the same. Even with the Lemoyne Center reopening to help kids and the community, the economy continued to back down. The Washington Mall closed and Washington and Jefferson College continued to buy more previously taxable property. Washington High School continued to dominate in sports with Whippeal titles and other successful seasons throughout the 1990s in multiple sports like football, basketball, and baseball. In 2001, the football team became state champions, and throughout the rest of the 2000s, the school had many strong and successful sports teams. Clubs like the Key Club, Foreign Language Clubs, and the Ski Club were some of the clubs that people were able to join, and the gifted-slash-talented program was started to help kids who excelled. Drug overdoses and shootings plague the city, and its economy still sits stagnant. Fifteen years into the new millennium, Washington still struggles. The Marcellus Shale drilling industry has put Washington County into the national spotlight, while 44% of the city of Washington remains tax-exempt. 